In the raised surface step, you can create surfaces that will form the outer functional geometry of the occlusal splint. When designing a splint with even contacts and large flat areas, a good tool to start with is the raised to antagonist cusp tips tool. Use the selector by holding the left mouse button down and dragging the cursor over the entire arch. The follow cusp tip radius, in this case, can be set between 8 to 12 millimeters to keep the surface flat. Note, in case you prefer to have stronger indentations to mark the contact points, you can use a lower value, which will result in more manual sculpting. A preview of the splint geometry with given values appears after each change. Please be aware that if you find the raised to antagonist cusp tips functionality does not produce the desired geometry for your case, it is possible to use the raised to antagonist plane tool, which will enable you to set an antagonist plane position that the surface of the splint will then meet. You can also choose to leave areas unselected, which will result in a generic offset from the scan surface in the previously defined splint thickness. When satisfied with your design, you can move further on.